King's Indian Defense, Bayonet, Sokolov Line, 10, F511.NG5 and F5 -NG5 -NF6. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. The players battled pretty evenly in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. b2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king's side. E5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the D4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. And C6 develops the knight, defends the E5 pawn and attacks the D4 pawn. D5 takes space in the center, attacks the knight on C6 and controls the E6 square. And E7 retreats the knight to a square where it will help with the F7 F5 pawn push, after black moves the F6 knight. B4 takes space on the queen side and controls the c5 square. Nh5 places the knight on the edge of the board where it controls the f4 square and allows the f pawn to move forward. 1 rupee activates the rook and opens up the f1 square. f5 attacks the pawn on e4 and gains space on the king's side. Ng5 protects the e4 pawn and controls the e6 square. Nf6 avoids the peace exchange by retreating to a safe square from where it also puts pressure on white's e4 pawn. Games master. It is the final book action. That's a decent move. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is ideal. This reveals an impending attack on a knight. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This protects an underdefended knight that is under attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This reveals a rook attack. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. An opportunity to signal checkmate is lost in this. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This can indicate that a knight was attacked. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses a knight winning threat. That falls flat. White still has the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. This results in a pawn being lost. It is incorrect. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. 
it is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is quite good. This ignores an opportunity to win a pawn. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This ignores a more effective method for getting a knight to safety. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. This avoids the rook's check. That's good. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Although the game was nearly tied, black is now in a losing position. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This misses a chance to relocate a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a miss. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This disregards a superior strategy for dodging the enemy rook's check. It is incorrect. Although the game was almost evenly balanced, white now holds the advantage. That falls flat. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a miss. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. Although white is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a bishop. It is ideal. This prevents the adversary from using a bishop to capture an outpost. It is ideal. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. This makes a check on the other team's king apparent. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. The bishop is currently located at an outpost, a safe square within the opponent's domain. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This wastes a chance to relocate a rook to safety. That falls flat. Backs off. It is ideal. The checking bishop is moved away in this move. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. That's good. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. This stops the opponent from being able to win a rook. It is good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. In order to activate a rook, the adversary must move it to the 7th rank. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to move a rook to the 7th rank and activate it. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. 
It is quite good. It's all right. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This passes up the chance to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This prevents the adversary from building a passed pawn. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is quite good. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. This positions the rook behind an enemy passed pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. That's good. This seizes a helpless pawn. That's good. This is a missed chance to attach a bishop to the king. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. An opponent's passed pawn can't advance if a rook is positioned behind it. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to win a rook. It is best. This makes it impossible for the adversary to win a rook. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. The players battled pretty evenly in the end game.